problem 13, y squared minus 5y over 2y minus 10. When asked to simplify a fraction, you want to look to see what can be factored out and or canceled. In the numerator, I can factor out a y. y squared will become y when divided by y. Distribute to double check. y times y is y squared. y times 5 is 5y. In the denominator, 10 and 2 are both divisible by 2, so I can factor out a 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Distribute to double check. 2 times y is 2y. 2 times 5 is 10. Now I have y minus 5 in the numerator and denominator that can be canceled. Leaves a final answer of y over 2, which is the same as letter C. Problem 14, 9x cubed minus 27x over 18x squared. Looking at the numerator, 9 and 27 are both divisible by 9, so I can factor out a 9. There's also an x here and here, so I can factor out an x. Would leave x squared minus 27 divided by 9 is 3. Distribute to double check. 9x times x squared will become 9x cubed. 9 times 3 is 27. Keep the x. 27x. The denominator It's 18x squared. Now I have 9 and 18, which are both divisible by 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 9 divided by 9 is 1. Let me just rewrite this as 1 half times x times x squared minus 3 over x squared. In the denominator, x squared can be rewritten as x times x. The reason I rewrite it like that is so x will cancel out. That leaves x squared minus 3 over 2 times x, which is 2x. And this is the same as letter A. Problem 15, 25 over 4x divided by 10x squared over 8x to the fourth power. First step will be to rewrite the problem as multiplication so it's easier to solve. You'll have 25 over 4x times the reciprocal of this, which is 8x to the fourth power over 10x squared. 10 and 25 are both divisible by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. You have 2 over 2, so 2's will cancel out. Let's rewrite what we're left with. We've got 5 over x times x to the fourth power over x squared. 5 times x to the fourth power is 5x to the fourth power over x times x squared becomes x cubed. I have the same base of x, so I'm going to divide them, and to do that you just subtract the exponents. So you have x, 4 minus 3 is 1, so x to the fourth power divided by x cubed becomes x. Keep the 5, so you're left with 5x, which is the same as letter E. Problem 16, y cubed minus 4y over 16y squared times negative 8y over 3y cubed minus 12y. I'm going to start over here and factor out a y. 
y cubed would become y squared. 4y would just become 4. Distribute to double check. y times y squared is y cubed. y times 4 is 4y. The denominator, I have y squared. So what I want to do is factor out a y so that I can get a y over y and cancel these y's out. So this would be y times 16y. y times y is y squared. So go ahead and cancel those out. Let's move over to this side. Three and 12 are divisible by three, so I can factor out a three. I also can factor out a y. That would leave y squared minus four. Distribute to double check. Three y times y squared is three y cubed, because y times y squared is y cubed. Three y times 4 is 12y. I can cancel this y squared minus 4. Also, 16 and 8 are both divisible by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. You can also cancel out the y's. Just rewrite what you're left with. Here it's 1 over 2, negative 1 over 3y. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Keep the y. So you're left with negative 1 over 6y, which is the same as letter A. Problem 17, x squared plus 2 over 4 plus 2x squared minus 1 over 5. We're adding fractions, so we need a common denominator, which would be 4 times 5. So you'll need to take 5 over 5 times this side, and 4 over 4 times this side. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 4 is 20. Over here, 2 times 4, which is 8. Keep the x squared. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. The problem can be rewritten by combining the entire numerator. 5x squared plus 10 plus 8x squared minus 4 all over 20. Now to simplify the numerator, add the like coefficients, x squared and x squared. Adding the coefficients 5 plus 8 is 13x squared. 10 minus 4 is 6. This is all over 20. You're left with 13x squared plus 6 over 20. And this is the same as letter D. Problem 18, 12x squared over x squared minus 3 minus 36 over x squared minus 3. The common denominator is already there, so you can combine the numerator. You have 12x squared minus 36 over x squared minus 3. 36 and 12 are both multiples of 12, so you can factor a 12 out of the numerator. Would leave x squared minus 36 divided by 12 is 3. And that's over the common denominator of x squared minus 3. This x squared minus 3 cancels out, and you're left with 12, which is the same as letter C.